In this video, I'll show you how to set up a role-based pricing on your WooCommerce store for free. Let's get straight into it. So for example, this product here is $1 for our admin user role. So if we copy this URL and let's view this as a non-logged in user, we'll see the full price, which is $2. Okay. All right. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay. So assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP wholesale plugin, the next step is to go ahead and configure our role based pricing. So we'll head over to AOVUP and then wholesale pricing. So the first thing we want to do is enable role based management. And then from here, we can actually create the different roles that we want to add to our store. So if you've already got your custom roles created, then you can skip this step. So I'm just going to create a test role. So I'm going to say um, vendor, right? And for the display name, I will put vendor and we're going to copy the permission from the default WooCommerce customer role. Let's hit add role. So we've created our new custom role, which is fine. And then here on the pricing group, we'll go ahead and click add new pricing group. We'll give this a name. It's just for internal purposes. And then here we'll say specific role and then we'll select our new vendor role. And then essentially all we need to do is just click add group. So one last thing as well to mention is let's say, for example, if the standard pricing for a product is $10, but for the vendors, it's $5. By default, it will show the $5 as a sale price. So the vendor will see $10 strike through and then they'll see that $5 pricing. So if you only wanted to show the $5 pricing for the vendor, we want to enable this option so we only display pricing specific to their user role then we'll click add group okay and then let's hit save changes so it's automatically saved it for us so that's fine so now when we head over to our product page let's edit this particular product for example Right, when we scroll down, we will be able to see our wholesale vendor specific pricing, right? So for example, here, the default price is $2 for all users, but for our customers with the vendor user role, we want to set this price to $1, for example. Okay. And we'll just hit save. All right. And then we want to test this out. Okay. Since I'm logged in as admin, I'm seeing it for $3. Okay, so I've already created a admin specific rule, which displays it at $3 for admin. We can see it's working here. So I was going to create a new user and assign that user the vendor's user role, but we can do it with admin. Okay, so here we've actually got a admin specific pricing. So since I'm logged in as admin here, we actually seen the admin price. So we can update this. And then let's refresh this page. And now it's displaying for one dollars so if you do go with the pro version so one thing to note is that in the pro version you've got access to bulk import custom prices based on a specific user role right and you'll also have the option to remove the aov up branding as well right so throughout this example i'm using a pro version 